right for your right for equal pay and not having a 70 hour work week in the new finishing time from Freeman Freeze. Let's talk about it. What does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Ahoy there, YouTube. I'm back here today for another game review. And today, everybody decided to check it out. Fiera Bend, a.k.a. Finishing Time from Friedman Freeze of Power Grid and Friday Fame, Fearsome Floors. Very prolific game designer. This is for one to six players, ages 12 plus, taking about 55 minutes to play. And in Finishing Time, this is a really unique worker placement game where you're going to be placing your workers out to try and relax after a long, stressful 70-hour work week. You might do that by going on a blame date, which might get your girlfriend or boyfriend, who you can take a vacation or take to a music park so you might go jogging you might go ho to a hotel to go make sweet sweet love to your girlfriend or boyfriend all of that is on the table or you might just try and get more st uh, strike tokens so then you can improve your working conditions which will make it better for you in the future it really ingrains the theme of the game in with the gameplay and if you want to see more of how it works i did a solo gameplay video of it and a thoughts from the corner which you can check out right up there but this is the review so let's get over the pros let's go over the cons first on the con side the game is not going to be for everybody for a variety of different reasons the theme is going to be a turn off to some people i don't think that's most people but some people i could see absolutely saying nope i i play video games as escapism or board games as escapism and this is not escapism another con that i have with this game and this one's more of a gameplay sort of con is i do feel there is one particular spot on the board which is underpowered compared to all the other spots which is the gender pay gap it just it never seems like it's a viable spot to go to and i've played it four times now at various different player counts and i've never really felt the need to ever go there so if they do include expansion i hope they buff that just as we bit it just doesn't feel like it's a viable spot to go to Another con that I have with this game is that I feel like the fact that they were clinging to trying to make this a medium to lightweight, you know, Euro style game kind of holds it back a little bit. I think with an expansion, this could go from the 8, which is what I'm going to rate it right now, to like an 8.59, like an absolutely just show stealing game, because I understand that they wanted to make the game not too complex. Because right now, it's pretty easy to learn, it's pretty easy to teach. But by not going that extra step and just adding maybe a couple extra things here or there, I think it holds it back just a little bit. But that being said, as I'm going to tell you, I'm keeping this game. I think it's a great game for a variety of different reasons. Any other cons I have with this game? I don't really have too many cons, to be honest with you. I enjoyed it as a solo game. I enjoyed it as a two-player game. I played it five players. I did not get a chance to play it all the way up to six players. Thanks, COVID. Uh, but I enjoyed it at all the different player counts, and it didn't feel like adding the extra players stretched out the game too long, because most of the time, you kind of what know what you want to do on your turn. So I don't feel like I really have too many other cons with this game. I like the rule booklet. I like the components for the most part. So moving on to the pros... I really enjoyed Fear of Ben. I think it's a great game, and I think it's a great game that I think just about everybody should try, just because of how different and unique the theme feels. But the main thing I really like about this game is I know that if I put this on my shelf and I get it back out in, like, say, two or three months, where I've kind of forgotten how to play the game, once I start getting it set out, it's going to be easy for me to remember how to play the game, and it's going to be easy for me to teach the game, because as I mentioned in the cons, for some people, the theme of the game is so ingrained into the mechanisms, it makes it really easy to teach. Because it's like, oh, you go over here, and then you can get strike tokens, and with those strike tokens, you can do X, Y, or Z, and all of it makes sense. And if you do X, Y, or Z, it's going to make it so that it just connects really stinking well. The vacation track, uh, not to mention it's easy to learn as well because there's only three actions that you're really ever going to do on your turn which makes everything flow pretty well i enjoyed the solo mode uh, i enjoyed it two players with this little extra token and the little extra token i actually really like there's a token you get and if you have that token you're able to play another an additional worker which really adds a little extra layer to the onion and, and i did enjoy that a good deal i loved the theme and overall, I felt like there were enough different paths to victory and enough different ways for me to go and explore in the game. Now, I would like there to be more. I would. I really, really want Friedman, give me an expansion to this one. I want you to dig into the weeds, ingrain more of that theme in there. Uh, but I really wanted... I, I was happy with how many different paths to victory there were and different ways to explore. It's like, do I want to bump up, you know, uh, the 70-hour the work week, so I'm working less week, so I really want to bump on focus on that vacation track. You know, there's enough going on there that I never felt like I was, I never felt like my turn was wasted, which is always a good thing. You know, even if I just ended up going to the bar, I was getting points or I was getting, you know, happiness. And, and yeah, 
I, I really like this game. I think it's a great game. I do. I think it is great, but I think it could get better. And I think most people are going to like this game. It played well at the different player counts that I experimented with it on. And that is Finishing Time, a.k.a. The Era Ben from Friedman Freeze. But it looks like it might be your cup of tea. Be sure to check that one out. If you're enjoying what I'm doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. Also consider supporting the Patreon down below. Because currently, I'm a stay-at-home dad trying to make money on YouTube. And in the comments below, let me know. What's your worst job that you ever had? My worst job I ever had actually was a factory. I worked in a factory for about a year and change. And it was, I got an OWI, an operating while intoxicated. And I had to choose between going to college or keeping, you know, working in a factory. So at the time I was doing both. And then when I lost my vehicle, it was like, well, I, I cannot continue going to college because I have to pay to go to college. So I dropped out of college and I worked this job and I hated the job and I was just addicted to all sorts of bad stuff. I was, ooh, let me tell you, that was a rough point in my life. I think I got scabies like three times over the course of a year. I was not a good person. Bad, bad, bad times. But luckily, I got laid off from that job. I was able to go back to college. And now, well, I'm not working, but that's that's COVID related, so who cares? But that's enough. Let me know. What the comments below? What was your, oh, the factory job. Why was the factory job so bad? It was terrible because it was just, it was the same thing over and over. Now, I'm a pretty happy-go-lucky guy, though, so I made the most of it. I was actually all the way in the back of the factory. I ran this giant lamp laminator and um I, it would take it would take like 15 minutes for the laminator to heat up what i was laminating i'm not actually supposed to say it because technically i was working blah 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 it would take 15 minutes for it to do it but what i found out was that i was really good at doing this because i did it so often and i didn't care about the quality that i was putting out because they could never pin it specifically on me it was just like you guys all need to improve yeah i was a bad employee uh but but i would get it done in eight minutes which means i was there was like a seven minute gap that I had to do whatever the heck I wanted. And then I would combine that seven minute gap with the next seven minute gap. So I'd get like these 15 minute breaks every 30 minutes or so. That was kind of cool, but I still hated the job. I, I Everyone in that factory hated their job. It was just like, but there you go. Wow. Reminiscing. Let me know in the comments below. Finishing time. Whatever the heck. The, oh, your worst job ever. Reminisce about it. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.